it is that time again, the time to reevaluate your workflow and see where you can make improvements to work faster and more efficiently. I do this myself at least twice a week. No improvement is too small, whether it's a 1% tweak or a major overhaul. It all adds up faster than you would expect. One of the best ways to make a noticeable impact on your workflow is by exploring new add-ons. They can bring massive efficiency boosts to your projects, often solving problems you didn't even realize were slowing you down. If you're working on an animation, you will often find yourself constantly previewing different segments, making slight tricks and playing them back over and over. This process can be tedious, especially when you have to manually set the timeline range every time you want to focus on a specific segment. Doing this repeatedly for various parts of your animation can become frustrating and time consuming. Using an add-on like Kronos Timeline Management, you can save different segments of your timeline as named layers. Each layer represents a specific range of your animation and with just one click, you can jump to any saved segment. The add-on automatically loops the segment making your workflow seamless and efficient. By eliminating the need to constantly reset the timeline manually, something like this can boost your efficiency by at least 80%. Another fantastic add-on to consider is Viewfinder. Unless you are working on a massive 50-inch 4K monitor, Screen Real Estate becomes a premium when using applications like Blender. Between your workspace, reference images, and maybe even a browser for Twitch streams or tutorials, that space can get crowded fast. Even with a wide monitor, you're usually focusing on a small portion of the screen, so using the space efficiently is crucial. That's where Viewfinder shines. It lets you add a camera preview of Viewfinder directly within your scene, removing the need to split your screen or open a separate window for previews. This keeps your workspace clean and makes it easy to adjust your scene while keeping an eye on the final composition. It's a simple but powerful way to optimize your screen space and workflow, letting you focus on creating without constantly rearranging your windows. Sometimes improving your efficiency isn't about new tools, it's about leveling up your skills. A few well-structured classes can make a huge difference if you're looking to take that route. Here are some courses I've created that might be perfect for you. The first one, Mastering Geometry Node course, is a course that starts with the basics and gradually builds up to advanced exercises like creating detailed drops, motion graphics, advertisements, and more. It's designed to take you from having zero knowledge of geometry nodes to feeling confident and capable of using them in your projects. There is also Blender VFX, created in collaboration with Grand Abit and GameDev.tv. This course is all about visual effects in Blender. You will learn everything from rigid body simulations to explosions and other dynamic VFX techniques. It's a great resource for anyone looking to dive into the world of Blender best effects. Another course I made with Game Dev TV is making commercials in Blender. This new course takes you through the entire process of creating a beverage commercial in Blender, from modeling and lighting to simulations. It's a comprehensive guide to crafting polished, professional quality ads entirely with Blender. Whether you want to master a specific tool or tackle full projects, these courses offer something valuable for Blender artists at every skill level. Working efficiently isn't always about doing everything yourself. Sometimes it's about delegating tasks. Of course, hiring an assistant can be expensive and for most of us, it's not a realistic option. That's why we turn to the next best thing, add-ons. A great example is Terra Blend, which acts like an assistant for blending materials seamlessly across objects in your scene. This can be a lifesaver when creating environments, especially if you want to show effects like the passage of time, whether it's moss creeping over stones, dark blending onto rods, or some weathered textures merging naturally. Instead of manually tweaking textures and materials to get that cohesive group, Terra Blend handles it for you, letting you focus on the bigger picture while still achieving high quality realistic results. It's an efficient way to delegate the tedious parts of your workflow to a tool that gets the job done quickly and effectively. Sometimes it's not about improving your skills but upgrading the tools you use. When it comes to cloth simulation, a better add-on can save you significant time and effort. For example, Divine Cut has been updated with powerful new features including the ability to add realistic fabric variations, accessories like chains and other customizable details. These enhancements make it easier than ever to elevate your characters in into true fashion icons. With tools like this, you can focus on creativity while letting the add-on handle the technical 
heavy lifting, ensuring your simulations are not only faster but also more detailed and visually stunning. Whether you are designing casual wear or elaborate costumes, a robust cloth simulation add-on can be a game changer for your workflow. If your material library is starting to feel a bit stale, it might be time to refresh it with a new collection of high quality materials. This collection includes a versatile range of options such as cloth, leather, metal, stone, glass and more, all meticulously designed for fast compiling in EV. Whether you are working on a sleek product visualization, a detailed architecture scene or a character model, these materials are perfect for adding a touch of realism without compromising performance. I'm the kind of artist who thrives when my vision starts coming to life, usually towards the end of the process. The beginning is always rough and I dislike starting from scratch. That's why I love tools like Shipwright, which help me skip the tedious early stages and start near the finish line. If you are working on spaceships, this add-on can generate thousands of unique variations giving you a solid foundation to build on. Instead of spending hours just getting the best model ready, you can dive straight into the fun part, customizing, refining and adding those unique details that make your creation truly stand out. Add-ons like this make it easier to focus on the creative aspect of your work while bypassing the drudgery of starting from zero. And almost artists are like me, we don't enjoy sweating the small details, especially when there are tools, add-ons and libraries designed to help. Take the new Sanctus Liquid Works, for example, a collection of shaders tailored for all kinds of liquids. Why spend hours perfecting a wine shader when the wine only takes up 2% of your scene? Tools like these allow you to focus on what truly matters, the story, emotion and impact of your art. When art becomes your livelihood, balancing efficiency and craftsmanship becomes crucial. In the end, what resonates with your audience is how the piece makes them feel, not the technicalities behind it. Unless, of course, your audience is primarily other artists. And let's be honest, that's often the case. So I guess it's worth striving for a balance between efficiency and artistry, ensuring your work both captivates and inspires. Even among artists who admire your work, the most common question isn't how did you create that, but rather what tools did you use? Let's take an example of Flag Theme Maker, an add-on for creating realistic fluffy fur. If you see a render showcasing incredibly fluffy fur, it's unlikely that another artist would ask about the step-by-step -step process behind it. Instead, they will want to know what tool was used to achieve that level of detail and consistency. This makes sense because there are countless ways to create fluffy fur, many of which can be complex and time-consuming. Tools like Fluffy Maker streamline the process, delivering fast, reliable results without the trial and error that often accompanies traditional methods. For most artists, the focus isn't on creating every detail manually, but on finding efficient, high-quality solutions that let them bring their vision to life. That's why conversations among artists often revolve around the tools rather than the intricate process behind the scenes. This is exactly why AI tools are becoming so popular, especially in areas like material creation. Take something like AI Material Factory. It's a game changer because deep down we all know that the general audience doesn't care how many buttons we click to create realistic lava textures or a metallic surface. What they care about is the final results and the emotion it evokes. AI can't imagine stories or dream up scenes that resonate with people. That's our role as artists. We can envision environments, decide how they should look, and direct the details from the type of rock material to the feel of the metallic surface. AI tools like AI Material Factory are enablers that simplify decision making so that we don't get stuck with shaders or materials that don't work simply because it would be too time consuming to change. With an add-on like this, it takes just a few clicks. If your workflows don't evolve, you will always hit a ceiling in what you can create. Take water shaders. They are one of the hardest thing to nail. If you don't already know how to make them, you are probably skipping water scenes entirely, which limits your imagination without even realizing it. That's where tools like physical water effects come in. They open up new possibilities, and sometimes I even find myself revisiting old projects just to see how they would look with something like this. Would I have pushed the scene further, maybe even turned it into a full animation, now that I can easily add animated water with foam and color sticks? It's always fascinating how much the right tool can change the art making process. 
it's not just about saving time it's about seeing where your creativity can take you when the technical stuff doesn't hold you back if you take a step back and evaluate your workflow not just in blender but across all the tools you use how efficient is it really many blender artists for example are also indie game developers juggling multiple processes like modeling, animating, and exporting assets. While exporting animations from Dana is straightforward, there are repetitive steps involved. You have to manually set the frame range and switch between animation actions every single time, which adds up if you are doing this regularly. That's where an add-on like Action Commander comes into play. It's designed to streamline this process, especially if exporting animations is a core part of your workflow. With this tool, all your animation actions can be organized into a neat list. From there, you can simply click through to set your timeline range, change the active animation, and prepare everything for export in just a few steps. If you're exporting animations regularly, using a tool like this can save you at least an hour over the course of your project. And when you are working on tight schedules, whether for game development or other creative projects, that save time can make a huge difference, allowing you to focus on more creative and less tedious setups.